Riverside Elementary. Do you know Ryan Thompson was my first grade teacher? Isn't that great? I'm joined by our very own Lois McMillan, a social studies teacher at Grants Pass High School, and Rochelle Bell, a teacher in Lynn County. Is that right? Yes. Okay, both of you have been named Regional Teachers of the Year by the Oregon Department of Education. How do you know one another? Well, Rochelle, you want to go first? I'll go first. Uh, Miss Mac was, do you go by Miss Mac now? Miss McMillan yeah. was um, my middle school social studies teacher, and I feel like it was longer than just eighth grade. So I was her student. I might have had you in seventh and eighth. Seventh and eighth. Yeah. I was feisty as a student. I remember her as perfect, so I don't know what she's talking I'm about. I tell my sisters that. Yes, you tell your sisters that, you know, they had to be perfect after you because you were great. Yeah. You were a wonderful student. I never, I just thought you were lovely. So oh. I just remember how wonderful you were, so. <laughs> Michelle, what do you remember about having Miss Matt? Oh my God, uh, my, my sisters immediately were like, do you remember her laugh? Um, <laughs> that, that one right there. I had a really difficult middle school years. My father was struggling immensely. My parents had separated a, f a few times. My mom was single at the time. I remember going into her class and just feeling like I was welcomed and loved and safe. And I just needed that to survive my middle school years because my family wasn't there because they couldn't be at the time. Um, and, and she gives everybody a hug every day when they come into their classroom. She hugs everybody. Everybody loved her. Everybody was jealous. If you didn't have her, you needed to have her or you, you were gonna register to have her. And so my sisters remember that too, that she was loving and welcoming. And they tried to, tried to one up me and tell me all the lessons that she taught. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't listen a lot, but I was loved a lot. And I think that that was important to me. And I needed, she gave me what I needed at the time. Well, I had a similar middle school experience in childhood, really tough childhood. And I think that's why I became a teacher. And I, I don't think I ever said that to Rochelle when I had you in the classroom, but I think that that's what makes a really good teacher is empathy. And I, I, you know, I, I think we suspect that uh, children are struggling maybe at home, but uh, if they don't want to talk about it, they just want love. They want a place to escape and, and you can escape into academia. Um, and I, I don't really care if they remember one lesson. I just want them to remember the love that, that uh, I'm giving them because that's what they need at that time. I really think I had so many odds to drop out and not have a productive or successful life or um, I didn't have the parent support, but I had the teacher support. It's always about love. It is. It's always about really making them cut. They can't learn if they're not feeling loved. Grants Pass is so special. And it took me to be a teacher in this experience right now to know that I came from a community who loved kids. Lois, what's it like to see a former student be named Regional Teacher of the Year? Nothing better, period. I mean, it just, it really, and I'm starting to get teary-eyed because <laughs> I got teary-eyed uh, when I heard, you see, I can't even, I, I do this all the time. I cry all the time, but no, it's still, it's just, See? Yeah, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> so, no, it, it still touches me. I just, it just really does. It's an honor to be a Teacher of the Year, but also just, I had a really tough childhood and to hear my teachers call and say, we're, we're proud of you, like, it will make me emotional again because that's who I had. All my teachers calling or emailing me and saying, I remember you, uh, like there is something so special going on there.